Okay, here we are in the deserts of uh, Black Bad, Badlands of Montana. Uh, right here what we have is a, a rib from a Triceratops. We're exposing this Triceratops rib to try to bring it back to the laboratory so we can prepare it and put it out for display. Normally what we do when we find the bone, we find the furthest extent of the bone where they terminate. When they terminate, we start cutting around them, around the outsides, and then we try to dig a trench all the way around the bone. Once we dig that trench around the bone, then we have to dig down a little bit deeper what we try to do is we try to put holes underneath the bone right here so we can put a strap of burlap and plaster through there because some of this bone is already starting to hairline crack we want to stabilize the weakest part of the bone. After we dig and pedestal this bone, uh, because it's bowed like this, we actually dig out some low spots where this bone can roll into once we get it plastered, jacketed. Um, what we'll do is we'll put tin foil on top of this. The tin foil will kind of hold everything into place. It acts as a parting agent. That way when it gets back to the laboratory, we can pull off the tin foil and we're right up against the bone again. We used to use toilet paper in the past, but toilet paper is more important for other things. So now we actually use tin foil. Uh, once we get the tin foil on top of that, then we start to plaster jacket. We mix the plaster with our bare hands. We dip in strips of burlap. Uh, we normally want to, when we have a long bone like this, we want to crisscross the burlap. That makes it stronger in the weakest part of the bone. And then once we get the jacket on top, we let it dry for a while. And then we roll it over uh, very quickly. We don't take our time. Roll it over very quickly, and then we jacket the other side. That's it. That's how I plaster jacket bones.